Hi, this is Eric Kruger from Stratacom. Today I'm going to show you our mobile portal client for ShareWell. So this is just like your technician client, but it's for customers. And so it's more portal functionality where they can look at their tickets, do approvals, create tickets. Um, but it's, it's just for the, from the customer viewpoint. So kind of the same functionality you'd have in the portal. I'm just going to open this up. I've got it installed on this Android phone. I'm going to log in as Emma. And we'll take a look here. Of course, anything here can be customized, tailored to your own company's uh, color schemes, these buttons. I set up this site in about a half an hour, so it doesn't take very long to, to set up. I set this up from scratch. Um, any buttons that you want on here, it can, it can mirror your portal how you have it now, or you can have it, you know, a, stri a stripped down portal with the most popular things for uh, mobile users. Um, works great on a phone, a tablet, even a desktop. <clears throat> it's just a, definitely a different way of looking at Sherwell's portal. So we're going to start with my tickets for Emma. These are all the tickets that she has opened. So she can scroll through these or tap into one to, to take a look at it. Um, she can see the uh, information about the ticket and can also scroll through the ticket. And the different tickets down here. And then we can give her actions that she can do. She can add a note or resolve this ticket, basically back it out. So let's just add a note. Click OK. And that'll add a note to this ticket. So we've got the note in here. Let's take a look at some of the other functionality that we've got built in. We've got a My Approvals. So these are all the approvals for Emma. I'm just going to take a look at one of these. I think these are all related to changes. So the approval information is up here, and we're merging the change information here. You can see the change number, the description, any information really that you want. We can merge into the approval. And then from here, she can approve or deny. So I'm just going to show you the approval screen. She can add an approval comment or the denial. Kind of the same thing. She can add a deny an approver comment and deny this. So you can also add templates. We've got some templates set up in another system where you can approve or deny for budget or deny for technology. Kind of some templated reasons that you can set up um, so they can do their approvals. We can also just create a generic ticket. So this one's really simple. Um, just going to put some text in here so you can create a test ticket. Hit OK, and it'll give you all the information about the ticket. So you can see we hard coded the priority. Um, the owned by team, it automatically gets assigned to first level. I hard coded the service category, subcategory in. It's got the customer. It also has the resolve by deadline on here. Of course, you can put any, and the status, you can put any fields you want on here. It's really simple to add fields. Um, Stratacom does do all the setup for this. And I've also got a create printer incident. So you can template like really common things. So if your POS system is down or if you've got a uh, network outage, you can have like templated um, things in there. So I'm just going to put, uh, oh, my browser stack's going a little crazy. Do test here, hit OK. And this will give us a, a printer incident so we can see the service is printing, um, submit incident owned by first level support. And it's got some of the specifics, but it didn't ask us to fill out any of the specifics because we just wanted to make it simple. Uh, and I'll walk you through maybe creating a categorized request. So this would be more categorization. So I can put in a description and then I can put in, I'm just going to do the same printer one, only categorized. So put in printing, put desktop and submit incident. And that'll give us our specifics. So if we do have any loose cables, so all the things that we want to check, the power on, is the toner low. This is just an example. This maybe isn't a good one for to show a customer. This is more technician. But if you do have things for the customer to fill out, you can do that. And then they'll be shown the ticket. When's the resolution date? You know, who's it, who is it assigned to anybody? It's assigned to first level support. Um, so that's about it. So really, you can put anything on here you want. Any any type of create record. Uh, they can work with any records they have at incidents or work orders or approvals, anything really from the customer side that they wanted to check, they can do. So uh, thanks for watching this and look for our next video, creating uh, an anonymous ticket. Thank you.